My name is Nakira Cheney, and I'm from Newark, New Jersey. I write HIV, I write and produce HIV, uh, HIV awareness in place. Okay. And the moment that I say that, most people like, they tie their body oh, ties yeah. up and you know, it's, it's, a, it's a funny feel to be in because it just makes people feel funny. They don't really yeah, want to talk about it. They don't want to be around it. I mean, it's like, I, mean, I, I want to honor you for what you do, you know, mm -hmm. using your art to champion a very necessary cause. You know? I started performing um, at little family reunions. We had a little, um, the, we would do the talk, the talent show, and I would get up and I would read my Angelo's poetry because I didn't think that what I was doing was poetry, what Maya was writing was poetry. And I just would, you know, get up there because I like to read, so I would just read it and I never was really connecting. Exploring her soul and only finding a sign that read Closed for business, out for morn, and it's been 31 years and she still has yet to see me. We I wrote because I was, I was going through some stuff. So I wrote because it was some things that was going on in my life that I may not have been able to, um, I didn't know for sure, or I, I may not have been able to talk about it, but I knew that it was things that was going on that wasn't right. So all I could do was write. And from there, all I did do was write. Even if you looked at me and I said, I'm fine, I'm great. You know, if you picked up my journal or you picked up my notebook and you read, you would see, oh, great to her and great to me, maybe two totally different things. The question was, what does being a starving artist feel like? And the first thing that ran across my mind said, it's like the insatiable appetite that's never quite fed, the deep thirst of thorough world hunger. Staring in your face, but really round corners. Beer time prayers of, I only want to live according to my purpose. And you said I could be any, I mean, everything I want to be, though it might not come true. Miss prophetic projections of propaganda in the streets. Mass minds institutionalize off our harmonic synthetic meats like that mind can't even have a normal conversation without spitting forth facts. Too much to say by too little time, so ADHD by society regulations, how can you put a price to inspiration? When if I was to just touch one soul, I'll be peacefully laid. Every tear I shed along the way will be well worth the nights that kept me uprighting just to say, my brother, come with me, I love you. My Nubian sisters, though the world continually attempts to demoralize you through your temples, you will always and forever be a me and you must never part, sister of mine. To a starving artist, it's like your mind is a coded message where every word has endless meanings. Dictionary mazes conducted into reality. Scribble erase sentences aimed for perfection because I know I only have a few minutes in front of you. I want an infinite every second. Starving so cliche, they say it doesn't even exist. Sentences and metaphors stripped of their origin, showing divinity transcends generations. So excuse me, sudden change in dialect. My people come from many places. Being a starving artist is like star for what most people consider work while I say it's my passion so I'll do it for free even if that means that my dreams begin to seem impossible to reach I'll speak my way through boulders bold and bear any struggle I mean who needs shoulders anyway knowing there is no greater joyce to behold than having a young child say I want to speak like that when I get older I'll volunteer every hour in your honor there are no job descriptions it's simply worth it to work it because I've been struggling for so long that full new feels empty if I can't share it with you you. Have you ever been called someone's favorite poet? Resonation so loud that griots spring forward. Century old greetings of welcome children, we've been waiting for you. Come and take a seat in what these days are called an audience. To a starving artist, the arena seems different, yet we're facing the same problems. I mean, you really want me to talk about BET when HIV in certain places is less than one in 60 degree? When chances of certain minorities of getting their diploma is less than those getting their GED while those same babies cite trace songs but only know 
how to sing their ABCs. A poet is simply willing to die to save those degrees. This ain't starving. I'm just doing what God tells me to. Allowing him to minister to me by passing messages on to you. He's the potter. I'm just the clay. He's the army using my tongue to slay. You talking poetry while I'm citing prophecy. There ain't no starving in this because the journey is way more fulfilling than the meal. It's the only thing I know how to feel. Only in this place can I hear and the rest of the world seems quiet. I ain't living for this. I die for it. Whew. Okay. 